Well hi everybody, this tape will be released after Christmas no doubt. I want to start by hoping everybody had a fantastic Christmas. Really hope you enjoyed it, oh, I did. What I've decided to do, I don't know whether you'll remember, a lot of people will. A couple of years ago I got into CNC routing and started to do and learn a little bit of routing and cutting stuff out of wood. I thought I'd get back into it this winter. I thought I'd start to do a little bit, see if I can do one or two bits for around the garden and try to make it a little bit Japanesey, I suppose. I've reloaded my art cam, which is what you do all this in, and it's been a bit of a pain really because I can't remember how to use it. I'm struggling a little bit, but I am getting there. So I think I've got it right, I've got all the codes written now, ready for the CNC routing machine, so I'm going to give it a go. I'm not working outside at the moment because it's freezing blooming cold out there, it's horrible. I thought of something that I can do in the shed and get the heater on and do down there. So I'm having a little bit of a mess about, I'm just going to see what I can knock up for the garden or for wherever really, I'm just sort of uh, practicing trying to remember how to do it all because it does get a bit complicated this stuff but I think I've got there so what I'm going to do now is go down the shed dig the router out because I think it's buried in rubbish and see if I can get it up and running again it hasn't run for about I'm sure it's two years let's just hope everything's okay down there with that but here we go anyway I've got my files so I'm going to pop down the shed and let's just see what happens Okay, we're now down here in the big shed. As you can probably hear, I've got the heater going. It's blooming freezing in here. So what I'm going to do is my router's under there somewhere. I'm going to dig it out and it looks like it wants a good clean off and see if it still works. So I'll be back with you as soon as I've got it dug out of here and we can actually see what we're doing. Then we're going to give it a run, see what happens. So I'll get stuck in and get it all cleared off. Okay, what about that? It lives again. <laughs> so now what I've got to do is see if it'll strike up and see how it goes. I'll put you guys on the tripod and we'll see what happens. Okay, here goes. Wow, it is cold down here. Oh, that heater soon wants to kick in. So. Out. Let's switch on and see how it goes. Right, everything's switched on. Will the computer still strike up? Is the question. You should have seen something before now. Well, good morning, everybody. A little bit better morning this morning than I had before. I came down to get the CNC all up and running and found that after being stood for two years I've got computer problems. Now I've had a good look at it but I think the actual power pack's gone. I think that's packed up. So what I've actually done is buy another one, the same. <laughs> so now I'm going to pinch the power pack out of that one and put it into this one and see if it does the job but I've got no computer I've got it all clean off and ready to go but I'm afraid it's not going at the moment so I've got the computer to sort out so I'm hoping I can get mine back up and running I could use this one but the problem with that is the program and everything and this computer is all set up ready to run the CNC so I'll have to go through all that again if I just swap the computer on it which I don't really want to do because that's a lot of work setting it up to run this I'm taking the power pack out I'm going to swap it over and see if I can get it running fingers crossed I've had to wait a couple of days for this other one to come which has slowed me down a bit but let's get the power pack swapped over and we'll see how it goes okay at last as you can see we're up and running thank goodness for that I've got a piece of old chipboard or whatever you call it there I'm gonna just use that to start to see how we get on so I'm gonna cut it to size and just have a bit of a practice and see how things go 
So I'll get that cut to size and then we'll get it on the CNC. Well guys, it's a bit noisy. We're underway and everything seems okay at the moment. So we'll see how it goes. Be back with you shortly. Okay guys, a bit of a disaster. A bit of a disaster I'm afraid. I've used the wrong drill bit. <laughs> but we can generally see what it's carving out but what I shall have to do, I'll redo the G-code using another drill bit I've used a 3mm, ball nose 3mm bit and what I should have done is use a V-carve but never mind at least we know it's all working, it's all up and running like I say, a bit of a disaster but it is all working fine plus I think this is a little bit damp which isn't helping but at least we're getting the pattern there. If I'd used the V bit, that would have come out quite nice. So I'll start again, I'll do the G code again, and we'll have another go later. Well, there you go. I do show my cock ups. <laughs> as well as my triumphs, I do show my cock ups. But you get the general gist of what it's doing. So I'll go do another G code, and then have a go with the V bit instead of a ball nose 3 mil. I haven't used it for over two years and I've forgotten basically what wants to be what. So we'll have another go. Back to the drawing board boys. Right well here we are again in the big shed and we're set up now to have another go. I've now put the V-carve bit in it so I'm hoping this is going to be better. So we're going to give it a whirl and see what happens. So, let's see how we go. I'll get ready to stop it just in case. got something to show you. guys can see it in this light the lights not very good but I'll try to get you a look that's what we've just carved out I'm getting a bit closer that's what it's just done a bit more like it <laughs> a bit better than yesterday so we're on the right track now well guys I've had another practice and done this one a bit bigger just managed to get it in there so I think now I'm ready to start on the proper wood. I shall have to wait till after Christmas now, but I shall order myself some wood and I'm going to start making a few of these and see how we get on. But that's it, all done, finished practicing. Well, good morning guys, and what a beautiful morning it is this morning. It's New Year's Eve and what a wonderful day. It's 15 plus degrees here today absolutely brilliant so i thought now i'll grab my chance and we'll get a bit of vacuum done in the pond so with me four extensions on there i can just reach all under them covers just nice so i thought because i'm still feeding full pelt we'd give them a clean out it's like summer to them so they won't mind so i've got one end done i've just got to come down here now and do this end but yeah really beautiful day so i'm going to press on and get it done but new year's eve 15 degrees that's got to be a record surely I'm loving it back with you when I got it all done well guys you'll have to excuse me I'm out of breath but that's given that a good whacking out got no end of rubbish out of it I obviously haven't done it since I put the uh, pond covers on you're not going to see a lot because it is pretty cloudy in there and all messed up somewhere in there with me coy <laughs> but it is pretty cloudy 
the job well done there was a quite a bit of muck on the bottom and I've got a lot of algae here as well the blanket weed so I might treat it while I've got the top up I've got some aqua sauce algae killer in the shed I might just bang that bit in just let it clear a little bit and then we'll chuck that in got loads of muck out I've emptied the sea filter about five times I think a lot of fine stuff in there we've got all that out so all's good I'm pleased with that the Sun if you can see it's not in our yard but it is still shining it's a great day here today New Year's Eve and I'm out here hoovering my pond I've just gone over the bottom of the pond once more and that's what we're getting out and that's after it's all been hoovered I just drifted over the pond to fetch any bits that had settled out so now we'll get everything cleaned up and put away well good morning everybody we're on a new project I've only just started I've got a big lump of mahogany in there now so hopefully everything goes alright because I won't get another bit like this but we're underway we're just taking off the first layer I'll give you little interludes as we go along just to show you what's happening this is going to take quite some time so I'll be back with you when I've got a little bit more to show you okay guys we're getting it slowly roughed out we're getting there doesn't look much at the moment but this is only the rough cut just to take away all the excess material but we're getting there we're on our way we've just got to keep plodding on okay if I can stay out the light this is it all roughed out so we've got it all roughed out now so now it's just a matter of get the finishing done on it if I can stay out the shadows so you guys can see so that's the roughing done and now we're going to start on the finishing we'll get the drill bit changed over tomorrow and then start finishing it off well good morning here yeah, we're back at it again <laughs> it's now doing the finishing run now this is going to take some time so I should think it'll be most of the day doing this but it's working away so we'll just have to see how things go there's not a lot more I can do now so I think I'm going to go make myself a cup of tea I don't know whether you'll see it but up here if you can see it we've gone through 40,000 lines of text already it's taken 40,000 lines of text to do that bit there <laughs> so how many lines of text it's got to go through you devil what have we been at it we've been here 43 minutes it's just going to be a case of leave it and let it do its job and we'll see what happens so I'll catch you guys later well here we are three hours into the job three hours and three minutes and we're getting there getting on towards halfway now I think but we are getting there we'll give it a good backing off and see what we got when we're done but it's still working away so that's where we are at the moment so it's still going to be a while yet as you can see it's dark outside now and we're in two 225,000 lines of text you see all this text going by here we've done 225,000 lines of it that is some program so we're getting there there's still probably another oh over an hour I would think to go but I'll do a big reveal at the end and I'll have you with me when I hoover it off and we'll take a look because I've not had a proper look yet and we'll see what it's actually turned out it's still covered in sawdust as you can see but I'll do a proper reveal at the end it's all done and finished so what I'll do is I'll strike the hoover up 
and we'll hoover it off and see what we got so just bear with me one second I'm just going to start the vac up it'll get a bit noisy I do apologize about that And we'll have a look. Let's see what we got. I've got the big light on it, so I hope it's not too bright for the camera. But uh, there we go, guys. That's my plaque in mahogany wood. I hope you can see that. I'm in the light. I can't get it without being in the light. Just a little bit of a touch up here and there with sandpaper, quick rub down, and it's done. Ready for staining. Oh, I'm well pleased with that, that's come out really well. All done. Nice mahogany carving. Well good morning everybody. And really cold, <laughs> but lovely sunny day here today. I've just popped the covers up and given a few meal worms. They was fed this morning first thing. It's about dinner time now. It's the 9th of Jan. And weather like this isn't too bad at all. I would think it's about sort of seven eight degrees here but there's a very cool breeze blowing at the moment which makes it feel colder than it is i'll just show you my outside thermometer i came out the other day to have a quick look at the temp <laughs> and the glass has gone it's fell out and it was on the floor broken so i need a new thermometer so i've no idea what the temperature out here is at the moment but with that cool breeze, it is blooming cool, I'll tell you. <laughs> but they gave about seven or eight degrees, I think, today. But it's lovely to see a bit of sun. So I've just popped the top up on the pond so that I can have a quick look and inspection in there just to see what we can see. They are about, as you can see, there's lots of mealworms floating about on top of the pond. But they all look good. They're all looking in good fettle in there seem happy enough they're eating well i know that that's the only thing about feeding all through the winter costs a blooming fortune <laughs> but there you go no, they're not going to show themselves they're up the other end i've got the camera out i'm not using my phone and they're not too keen on the camera but yeah they're all looking well like i say they're quite lively i'm going to do a little bit more routing today a bit more on the old cnc I'm still practicing on one or two things just to see how they come out. I want to do some Japanese lettering today if I can. So I might give that a bash, see how that goes. I love to get Christmas and New Year done and then we know we're heading towards the pond season. It always makes me feel better once we're this side of Christmas and New Year. Start thinking about the up and coming pond season. But yeah, just to let you know everything's well in there, they're all looking good. Well guys, as you can see, I'm back in the shed. I've been doing a little bit of rubbing down. I don't know whether the light's too much on it there. On my little thing that I did. Well, little, it's quite big really. <laughs> but I've been doing a bit on that. Just tidying it up, taking odd lines out and that sort of thing. But what I'm into at the moment, 
like I said before, is I'm going to have a go at doing some Japanese lettering. I've been pottering about just to see what I can do. What I'm using here is old decking wood, so it's probably the cheapest wood you can get <laughs> just to see what I can make out of it. And this is what I've been coming up with. So I had a go at that. Now the person to blame for all this and getting me back into all this is Dave from Eden Koi Pond. I've seen what he's doing, he's doing great stuff. Pop and see him. He does some quite interesting stuff and it's his fault that I'm back into all this. <laughs> so Dave I totally blame you for all this. But I'm back in the shed, it's bloody cold in here so the heat is blasting away. I'm going to have a bash at doing a bit of Japanese lettering. Well, I'm going to see how that goes and I'll let you guys have a look when I'm done. Japanese writing and what it actually says is because I got it off Google Translate is I love my koi in Japanese don't you just love it <laughs> it is actually supposed to be the other way up but yeah I love my koi at least I know it can be done like I say we're only using cheap wood here it does make a big difference and it's probably a little bit damp because I fetched it in from outside but that's it Anyway guys, it's come to that time of day and that time of the video where I'm just going to wish you all a fantastic up and coming koi season. Let's hope we have a good one. Let's get rid of this cold weather for a start. That'll do me good. And we can all get on with some decent stuff. So all it leaves me to say is you all take care, stay safe and as always, happy ponding. Music